we shall now learn link with ORM designer. In the last series we learnt link with database manually. But as we pointed out that manually doing will not uh, be very productive because it will require a lot of manual effort on your part. Especially when foreign key or primary key relationships have also to be added. So from now onwards we shall be using the ORM designer approach because it allows us to be more productive, do our projects quicker and is the recommended way of doing things. Let us try, it, uh, before doing anything, before proceeding anything, let us first of all create two tables that we will require throughout and use the designer. Then we will talk about the theory and all. First of all, let us go for the practical story. So to start with, uh, you should follow me in this lecture and this is the table that you should draw. TBL doctors. Create a database with SQL Server. We have used full SQL Server for this. So add it to app underscore data. Right click there, add to app underscore data full SQL Server and then create this table called TBL Doctors. And these are the four columns in this. The first column is email and it is primary key. Name, phone is regular is a bit. Default value is set 0. These four brackets will automatically come. You simply type 0. Or you can have a look at the SQL query. This is also possible but this is self-explanatory. Then I will show you where it is exactly. It is under app underscore data. We right clicked here. We right clicked here. Add new item. Then we picked up SQL Server database. Give it any name. Preferably start it with DB. You should start it with DB so that it is easy to recognize in code later on. And then we went to Database Explorer. You will find this table is empty. You can use Add New Table. And don't forget to rename the table here. The table name is specified at this point. Table name is specified here. By default it will be table. You should erase this and type your own name. Similarly, we added the second table called TBL Patients. You can see the design of this table. ID is an int and it is identity type. How to give identity type I will tell you in a moment. Patient name and Dr. FK are the other two keys here. How to give it auto number right click properties and click on properties if it vanishes pin it and here uh, set this is identity to true by default it is false. After you have added this table called TBL patients we have two tables now TBL patients and TBL doctors. Let us add some data. So first of all we will add data to TBL doctors. We have added three records D1, D2, D3, N1, P1. Since this D1, D2, D3 will be a foreign key there. We again go to our database. In TBL patients we added some patients and we ensured that Dr. FK is one of those D1 to D3 so that the relationships are maintained correctly. So this will settle your database 
and now let us start the designer. So this is the blank form that we are at present. Right click anywhere on your project and add add new folder and we can call it entity models right click on entity models and add we have created a separate folder so that our entity models stay inside it at one place the models that we add through the designer are called entity models. So right click, add, new item, come to data. The first option is ADO.NET entity data model. This is what we are looking for. I'll give it a name called mod patients and then click add you will see generate from database or empty we are already having a database so click next here the name of the database appears and save entity connection in web.config as db patients entities accept the defaults click next click this one, click this one and select both the tables. Pluralize or singularize generated object names should be kept tick marked. Include foreign key columns should also be kept tick marked. What is this pluralization or singularization? I'll come, when I come to that point, I'll tell why, why where it will be used. But at the present you should tick mark them. Click finish. Depending on your computer, you might get a number of security warnings at this point. Security warnings. You should tick them yes, yes, yes. Or you can tick don't show again. Like I ticked it one of my cases earlier. So they won't appear and you will see it quickly here. Then you will find this sort of diagram that appears here. In this, you can now see that this is one model TBL doctor, this is other model TBL patient. If you didn't add that primary key foreign key relationship between them, then this will not appear. So when I was creating the database, I have created those primary key and foreign key relationships among the tables. So it has appeared. TBL doctor is a mapping from the database table called TBL, TBL doctors and TBL patients. this is singular this is singular because a model represents one entity one class so by convention it is singularized each tbl doctor has four properties one two three four they are internally mapped to the database you mapped them manually in the previous examples but now they are mapped for you automatically internally Similarly, TBL patient, it has also three properties. This is again a navigation property. Why navigation property? I'll a navigation property because one TBL doctor has so many patients associated with it. So this is a navigation property called TBL patients. One has many patients. 
So if I want to find all the patients of a particular doctor, I can make use of this property. This is additional property that is added for you and it is pluralized. The name is pluralized so that it gives you more readability. If I want to find, go to the reverse direction. If I want to find the doctor associated with the TBL patient, that is with one record. Remember TBL patient is not a table now, it represents one record of the table. Then I can look up this property TBL doctor because it says one patient has a one doctor associated with it from the TBL doctor's table. So if I have a TBL patient object, patient object called OBJ and I want to know its doctor, then I can write obj dot tbl doctor dot put further properties, email, name, phone, whatever I want to search for. So this is the database table that now how did I add those relationships? For that we have to right click on tables, new query. So I typed this query, alter table TBL patients add foreign key doctor FK references table. So this is you can see this one is coming from here and this is FK is coming from here. So you can take a look at it command and then you should click on this one command completed successfully so this is the first step that you could have taken here and uh, this is how it works in case you find trouble you should you can check up the internet for the exact syntax of this query but this one worked here so we'll close it right now we have added our model entity model and we'll be using this in our future lectures. So closing it right now. Thanks.